there. This That's is Keith. Keith. We're doing Keith Gaddy podcast, and today, guess what we're going to be doing? Daddy, they would be kids the first. We're going to do the book, and I guess we'll do the new movie that came out on uh, Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to do the the old the old first movie and the new first movie. Well, what'd you think of the first new movie, the first one that came out? I guess it was in two thousand eight or somewhere around there. What'd uh, you think of that movie? It it was good. It was definitely good, and it was a lot like the book, right? Yeah, but. How did the cheese go blank? The cheese went blank? Yeah. Because I think, oh, we're giving away a spoiler, buddy, because somebody ate the cheese. Rowley ate the cheese! Oh, no. Well, and Greg lied that he's allergic to dairy. Because he didn't want to get the cheese touch. Now, let's just talk about what the cheese touch was. There was a piece of cheese that was on the, the playground, on the basketball court, right? Mm -hmm. And it had been there for years and years and years. I think it was there when Roderick was in school, right? Yeah. And anybody who touches it, guess what's called what? The cheese touch. And you don't want to ever get the cheese touch because then you, anytime someone touches you, they get the cheese touch. Mm -hmm. It's gross. You don't want to get that. Mm -hmm. Now, this book is all about a little kid trying to survive middle school, right? Mm -hmm. Seventh grade, I, I think it was? No, it was sixth grade. Well, maybe it was sixth grade. He might know better than me, even though I read the book to him. Tell us some, what, what was your favorite parts in the book? Uh, when Rowley, when, when, when Rowley built a snowman with Greg. Oh yeah, I liked when when Greg was in the play, and there was he was one of the trees from the Wizard of Oz, and was trying wanted to throw the apples at a, that girl, mm -hmm. whatever her name was, I can't remember. And who's your favorite character? You think in the whole thing? Oh, uh, Greg. How come? Do you think you're like Greg? Because because he tried to survive middle school. You tried to survive middle school. Mm -hmm. You think you're gonna have to survive middle school like Greg? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay away from the cheese. That's all I'm gonna do. Stay away from that cheese. You don't want to get that cheese touch. Mm -hmm. Now you can tell me something, Bruce. What um, which movie did you like better? Did you like the original one or did you like the new cartoon one on Disney Plus? Uh, the original one. But the cartoon one was a lot more like the book, with the same animation and a lot of the same scenes, right? But I think the the live action one was was a lot the same, like the book too, right? Yeah. We're not going on the second one. We're still on the first one. You're jumping way ahead, buddy. We didn't even get through all the good parts, like when they went out on Halloween. And didn't, um, didn't his friend Raleigh not dress up in a cool costume? Yeah. What did he dress up as? I totally forget in this book. A knight. Oh, he dressed up as a knight. But how come he didn't like the knight? Greg didn't like the knight? Because he wanted him to be something cooler. Yeah, because Greg was obsessed about, too obsessed about being cool. And then at one point, didn't Raleigh and him not become friends anymore? Mm-hmm. What happened with that? He, he was with a different person. But how come they stopped being friends? Because... Didn't he let him, he got let him get in trouble or something, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then, and then they met, and then we, they got friends again, and then he ate the cheese. Well, before we get to that, what was, um, who was that friend that Greg started hanging out with and had that weird sleepover with, where he put the booger on the on the piece of paper. I don't remember. We gotta remember his name. I'm so bad at some of these names. You keep talking while I look up the name. Tell um, some more funny parts about it. When Rowley ate the cheese, he, he had the mouth cheese touch. There's no mouth cheese touch, it's just the cheese touch. Man, I could not find his friend's name in here. Up oh, here it is. Oh God, this is the kid with F Fregly, Fregly, Fregly. Fregly had a sleepover with him and it gives him a booger on a piece of paper. And that's when Ew. Greg passed out, and Greg said, "I'm not going to be friends with this kid anymore." And had his father come and pick him up. Remember that? Yeah. That was funny. Oh, and then didn't they also write that cartoon? Yeah. Oh, Zooey Mama. That was the whole cartoon that they wrote. And then Greg decided to not um, publish the cartoon in the school paper, and Raleigh got all the credit for it, and Greg got really mad about it. And Greg also accidentally broke Raleigh's arm, didn't he? Yeah, on on a bicycle. That's right. What did he do? Throw a snowball at him? No, kickball or something, right? He he threw a football at him. Oh, it was the football knocked him right off of that and broke his arm. Yeah, and then Greg broke his hand. And then, well, no, he pretended to get that infection on his hand and nobody cared because yeah. they thought that was gross. And then at the end, those big bullies came 
and Raleigh and, and Greg were about to get into a stupid little fight that they didn't want to get into. And the bullies came and made one of them eat, eat the cheese. <laughs> and it was Raleigh. Raleigh ate the cheese. And then Greg said that he ate the cheese because he didn't want to make Raleigh get upset and everyone make fun of him. And that's how they became friends again. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10, yeah. what would you rate the book? 10. You'd make it a 10, wow. Mm -hmm. I thought it was good, I'd give it a nine. It's a fun book, I think it's great for kids. And now, okay, the original movie, the, the live action movie, what would you give that on a scale of one to 10? Uh, a five. A five, that means you didn't like it. I, li I liked it a little bit. You liked it a little bit. That's why it's a five. I would give it a eight because I think it was a good movie and I think it was a lot like the book. Now, what do you give the animated one on Disney Plus? A uh, 20. A 20? I thought you said you liked the original one better than the animated one. I like it more. You're a goon. Okay, well, I think I'd give the animated one a little bit um, higher of a rating. I may give it like a nine and a half because I, I thought it was a lot like the book and I thought it was great. Let's move on to Roderick Rules. Well, Roderick Rules is the second one. I actually haven't, I haven't seen the movie and I haven't read the book, but I think we can do another podcast on that. But, but you, we have to do, a, we could do a little bit of Roderick Rules and a little bit of Long Haul. A little sneak preview of Roderick Rules, right? Yeah, a little sneak preview of Long Haul. That's a little sneak preview. Mm -hmm. What, um, what would you like to say about Roderick Rules? Give me Roderick Rules in 15 seconds. Uh, Roderick had a party and locked Greg in the base of a rally. Oh, that's right, he did. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? Did he get caught? Yes. I don't think and, so, then, and then he went on the phone, and then his mom answered, and Roderick. Yeah, basically. I thought, uh, I actually, no, that's right, I did see some of Roderick Rules. I thought that was a pretty good movie, but I think uh, I'd like to read the book first, and then we can compare it to the movie. Because I think these Diary of a Wimpy Kid books and movies are actually pretty good. Now, um, for the people who are going to watch this, do you have any other things that you should tell, any books you want people to read or any movies you want them to see? Anything that comes to your mind that you really liked? Um, the deep end one that is on the back of Roger Gruz after Wrecking Ball. Well, anything other than Diary of Wimpy Kid? Were there any other books that you liked that maybe me and you read? Uh, like, we read Ocarina of Time and you should read that because that's the best book. That's a good one, yeah. It's the Ocarina of Time manga. It's, um... I forget who, who it was written by, but it's uh, it's black and white, and you have to read it backwards, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is a good book. Um, I would recommend that, too. And I'd also recommend, as my suggestion, Ocarina of Time Part 2, where Link's the adult. Yeah. That's a good one. Any um, video game recommendations you have? Uh, Mario Kart 8, the Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7? You never played that one. I, I've seen a lot. But we, but we played Mario Kart 8. What about Mario Kart 64? That one was good in Double Dash, right? Okay. I would say maybe Archvale. Remember that video game I was playing that looked like Legend of Zelda? Which one? It was the one I was playing on the Xbox. Archvale and you should try out um, a game that is crazy. You should play Tag with Ryan. Tag with Ryan. That's another older game, but that was a pretty fun game. Me and you used to play that on the phone all the time. Yeah. Tag with Ryan's a good one. And uh, how about any movie suggestions? My suggestion for a movie is... Awesome we Diary of a Wimpy Kid Roger. Oh, a whole Other than Diary of a Wimpy Kid. You know what movies I will not watch? What? Me and Bruce always talk about uh, Disney characters. Yeah. And I won't watch anything with Max Goof in it. I don't like that Goof movie. I don't like anything with Max. I don't like Max Goof and I don't like Pete. And Goofy. Uh, Goofy's okay, but I don't like Max Goof and I don't like Pete. Pete right now. Oh, uh, here we go. Go ahead, talk about Pete. He is the best character in the whole Mickey Mouse. Oh, man. I disagree. I firmly disagree. I'm not a big Pete fan. He's a good villain. He's a bad guy sometimes. And sometimes he's a good guy. And and I hate when he cheats. I hate when he cheats, too. Hey, um, who's your favorite Disney character? Max Goof. My favorite's Donald Duck. Yours isn't Max Goof here. Don't knock over my microphone. It is Max Goof, Donald Duck, Mickey, and Pete. Yeah. <laughs>
I can't win with you, can I? <laughs> but he is the best. And we are going to leave. Bye. Bye. Be sure to click like and subscribe so you can get more content, more podcasts, more fun stuff, and more Dive and Wimpy Kid. More Dive and Wimpy Kid, but we're also going to be doing podcasts about Anything pop culture, anything cool, what's new in the news today, what's not new in the news today, what was and new the in the news. And the weather tomorrow's rainy. The weather tomorrow doesn't mean anything because these people could be watching it anywhere in the world. <laughs> but it's not uploaded yet. Well, we can tell you what the weather is in New Jersey if you want to know that. But what I'm thinking is uh, we can talk about what's going on in the news, like fun stuff. Though. We don't want to talk about any of that stupid stuff going on in the news, right? Yeah. And uh, like, no, we don't even mention any of the, We were going to only talk about good stuff on here. What's uh, coming? What holiday is coming up? Christmas Eve and Christmas Day! That's right. So maybe you can leave a comment about what you want for Christmas. And leave a comment about your favorite video game and your favorite movie and book and everything. You're going to scare the viewers with doing that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I call I call this kid the goof. Can you tell why? All right, buddy. Say goodbye again. Bye.